children in your last class already we have learnt about so many things okay today i want to ask you some uh, questions uh, let me know every day as soon as you get up from the bed uh, you will perform variety of activities what are those activities that may be you can walk from one place to another place or you can run you can see the things you can read you can write you can eat you can sleep these all are the different different activities you can perform every day then have you ever thought how does this is possible yes how does it is possible we are doing a variety of activities every day then how it is possible yes this is possible only because of our body we have our body then how does our body is made up of our body is again made up of different different parts which can help us in doing or performing variety of the uh, activities in today's class we will learn about our body and how does this body is made up of it is made up of different parts like head neck chest hands stomach legs feet fingers okay this is my body and even all of you are also having the body then the body is attached with many different parts and those many different parts are very much helpful to perform some other different different activities i will start with this first part of my body that is head the first one is head then as soon as you see the head you can see the hair on the head and inside the head we have the brain okay and this face is attached to the head part then what are the different parts in the face i have forehead i have eyebrows and i have eyes i have nose i have ears and i have chin i have mouth lips inside mouth i have tongue i have this cheeks okay these all are the different different parts which are attached to the face part and this face is attached to the body part body head part okay then what is the use of this eyes and nose and the ear and the mouth and the lips yes you know already that is with the help of eyes you all are looking at me now right now isn't it then you all are listening my voice also you all are listening the lesson also then how it is possible you all are looking at me only with the help of your eyes if there is no eyes it is not at all possible to look at any picture or living thing or living animal or inside the classroom outside the classroom or you cannot watch the movie you cannot play the place or in the games in the uh, mobile or tv it is not at all possible we can see the things only with the help of our eyes then you are hearing my voice whatever i am talking now you can hear the voice yes how do it, how does it is possible which is possible only with the help of ears then i have ears even you to have ears you can hear now you all are hearing my voice now that is only possible because of your ears then why these ears are used or what is the help of or what is the work of our ears which helps to hear the sound and what is the use of our eyes which helps to see the things see the picture see the person see the another animal see the variety of things in around us surrounding us we can see so many variety of things with the help of eyes then you can smell bad, bad and good yes how it is possible of course it is possible with the help of nose if there is no nose we cannot smell the the good good and bad 
smells and even another most important work is there with the help of nose that we are breathing breathing means what we are taking inside the uh, oxygen and leaving out the carbon dioxide if there is no breathing we are unable to live on this earth the breathing must be there and that is possible when, uh, with the help of the nose and next part what is left over now mouth yes if there is no mouth we cannot eat the food and if there is no mouth no tongue no lips i cannot talk and even you are also unable to talk to talk we want mouth we want tongue then what is the help of the mouth now we can eat we can talk isn't it and we can make the uh, so many um, images we can show the things we can express our feelings with the help of the lips and the mouth yes these all are the different parts in the face which is attached to the head part of our body then what is the next part next part is neck see if there is no neck how does this head is going to stand this neck is going to support our head and even here in the head we sorry in the neck we have this vocal cord that is the sound box here we have the sound box with the help of that sound box we can talk we can produce the sounds so only we are talking whenever you want to talk then what is going to help our this neck part is going to help then after neck we have a chest and after chest we have hands see most important part of our body those are hands if the hands are not there it is not at all possible to do any work yes of course what can i do with the help of hands yes each and every small to big works only we can perform only with the hands i can hold the things i can eat i can hold the book and i can read i can write if there is no hands these all are not at all possible to do or perform then the hands are very much useful for our body to perform the different different activities then after hand we have stomach after eating the food stomach inside the stomach it will go and it is going to digest in the stomach and stomach is going to absorb the energy if there is no stomach we are unable to digest the food and even we are unable to get the energy then after stomach legs yes how i am standing now how you all are standing how you all are running how you all are walking from one place to another place i am standing only with the help of my legs if my legs are not there i am just unable to stand only with the help of legs i can stand then the legs will help to perform running walking standing so those legs our legs are very much useful we need they are very important to our body to perform the most important activities then after legs we have feet we have feet feet are attached to the legs then if there is no feet only pointed legs i have i am unable to stand from in a one a particular place i am going to fall down like this so i have feet attached to the legs even you are also all of you are also having the feet and which are attached to the leg part then that feet will help us to stand properly on the surface area or stand properly on the land if there is no feet it was not possible to stand on a particular area again for feet we have attached fingers even for our hand also we have the fingers then how many fingers are there yes we have 10 fingers which are attached to the hands five and five fingers similarly we have five and five fingers to the legs all 
also five fingers for the one leg and another five fingers for the another leg then why these legs uh, fingers are attached to the legs and hands have you ever thought yes if there there is no fingers then how can i hold the pen how can you are going to hold the pencil and how can you are hold you're going to hold the glass water glass or water bottle and how can you are going to eat the food isn't it these fingers are very small to see but these are very much important to perform the different different activities if there is no fingers it is not at all possible to do the small or the big work we are unable to perform those activities then these fingers are also very much useful for our activities see here today we have learned my body head neck part chest hands stomach legs feet and the fingers this is about our body and even you have learned what are the uses of different different parts of our bodies isn't it okay so today by this we are going to end this lesson but before ending i want to give you some homework so in the homework part you will uh, write the parts and we, uh, which part is attached to the head parts of the head and then you are going to write down the uh, work of hands two works of hands and two works of legs will you do this work today okay so by this we will end up this class now okay bye bye children